Hi, in this week's main video I'm going to be covering how much can you make trading? Now it's a question I get posed lots and lots of times whenever someone asks what do you do and you say well I trade currencies they say well how much could I make if I started trading then? And it's a bit like asking how long is a piece of string? Um, we'll come on to that in a moment. Um, but uh, the, the problem is there's this sort of the great expectations that are driven out there, driven by people that do not even trade or they they just purely educate. They, they've they got no experience of actual trading. In real terms, they'll have a little little show, they'll demonstrate sometimes with some reasonably decent money, um, but uh, they'll only show you the winners, of course. They won't show you a loser of any decent money, uh, but uh, they, they then try and sell you courses so you can join them on their great uh, um, time and you, you see them on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, they'll all be there um, with their flash cars, their flash this and the flash that and their wads of money. At the end of the day um, that's what sets the expectation, that's what sets the bar. Uh, one of the biggest and most significant differences between professional traders and retra tra traders is their expectations. If you ask me how much I can make this year, I haven't got a clue. How much can I risk? I can tell you that. Um, the focus is on money for retail traders and risk uh, for professional traders. So the, the, for a retail trader, focus on money, not risk. For a free, uh, for a professional tra trader it's risk not money. One thing I can control, the other thing I can't. I can't f control on how much money I make in any one year. I can control the amount of risk I take at any one time and uh, consequently over the year that I'm trading. So it is very much the great unknown. So when someone says how much can I make, as <sighs> That, that's just one of the many, many variables that's uh, sitting out there. Um, the other thing is expectation. Uh, the great expectations is time scales. Uh, the, uh, this time by next year, Rodney will be millionaires. Seems to fee, be fed by these people that uh, are selling the dream. So I don't want to be a, a dreams killer or a snatcher, um, but. Um, uh, I, you, you ask the question, I get asked the question, here's the answers. Majority of trading accounts are, are less than £5,000. In, in fact, many are around £1,000. It's the first of $1,000, $5,000 you look in, in the US wise. It's not a great deal of money. Um, it's a, a dip in a, a toe into the water to see how we can do money, which is fine. Um, I wouldn't expect anyone to put their life savings and I sort of strongly recommend it against it. And anyway, go, go and get some good financial uh, help if you, you're tempted to do so. But um, it, it's got to be a, an affordable loss in the first place. And probably those sort of numbers are affordable losses. Now the expectation is to is to double that in a very short term. Quite often, um, you you see it and you hear it from the the Bitcoin millionaires, um, which possibly aren't a bit more coin millionaires any longer. But you you'll see it and you'll hear it all the time. The, the, but the majority of people don't do it. They don't they don't double up at all, let alone in a very short time. But that's the expectation. Can it be done? Of course it can be done. Um, I'll show you uh, on, on what I've traded this this um, uh, so far for since March. I'll just show you in terms of the results and show you how it could have been done. Um, will the majority of traders do it though? Of course not. Um, the, 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 the thing about the majority of traders, they're actually losing money. If you look at the bottom of any broker's site, it's got to get, it's got to display the percentage of traders that lose money with that broker, and you'll see it's round about give or take around about eighty percent. So eighty percent of the traders, that's the majority of traders, <laughs> are losing money. So you've got to do something to break that in the first place to be able to make some money so you've got to break that losing idea and some of that is is by setting expectations right in the first place that of course then I get asked about well if you're using more leverage are you risking more per trade could I make more money well I'll show you in a moment of course you could make more money you could also lose it though as well 
what is realistic? Well, I can only give you something that I've done. So since March, um, during the, during our morning sessions, we, we generally plan what we're going to do. It's a very short session. And you just literally plan what we're going to do the, in the day ahead. We do some a bit of training each day, a bit of education, and that's it. Um, and then during the daytime, if any of those planned, we we'd basically get a short list of currencies that we want to trade. And during that time, I'll I'll identify one or two. Sometimes we we, we manage to get into a trade in the morning, uh, maybe some later in the afternoon. But anything that I've called that's on the plan, um, this is the result of uh, just on the plan and what's being called on the app that I've got. Because everything's traceable back on the app to say, oh yeah, you did call that at that time. So it's all completely trade trade traceable. And. So what could you actually make with this? Well, it, it, it really depends on if you've made 20% since March, which is, uh, what's it, four and a half months. Um, he, he, you know, realistically, well, it doesn't really matter how long it is. It's just how much you've made. If you're up 20%, where else are you going to get that sort of money? Now, of course, it, it would be a disappointment to some people that are looking and uh, uh, deciding they, they want to trade. But for the 80% that are already trading and not making the money, it will be magnificent, <laughs> perhaps, or still a disappointment because is that all I can make? Um, so taking that 20% and risking 1% would give you 200. If you've been risking 2% every trade, uh, 400, 3%, 600, um, 4%, 800, and 5%, you'd have doubled your money if you was on a thousand quid. So if you took a thousand pound account, and that 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 uh, different percentages in terms of risk on each trade. So here you're risking a massive five percent, and I say a massive five percent because I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. However, some people want to get their money doubled and doubled. Um, it's extremely risky. One thing I would certainly point out is, whilst I've been, done that since March, it doesn't mean to say I'll be doing anything much in August. And some of the months leading through to August, September, often quite quiet. God knows not where, where I'll end up at the end of the year or the the trading year that I've, I've put there. So um, that that's um, that's the important aspect of this is it, it's none nothing is guaranteed. Uh, but one as I say, one thing you can do is the percentage of your account, the risk that you're willing to expose. Is it can be guaranteed within a within a smidgen? You may get slipped a little bit on a trade, but you you, you might lose one point one or one point two percent. Okay, the, but the, the the more you you're willing to risk, the more you you you're potentially going to uh, um, have an account blow up. Basically, um, the more risk per trade. Now, what 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 I mean by this, you'll lose your money. But um, is if you're risking on a thousand pound account, if you're risking five percent each time, if you I, I had a run of six losses in this um, March period, or oh, seven losses, I think it might be. Let's take it as seven, and let's say you had seven losses with uh, one percent loss on each occasion, a thirty-five percent of your account. If you hit, if you started trading right at the beginning when I went through my little run of bad losses. Uh, you'd be down 35%. But that's the market, that's the way it went. Um, after that, it started recovering, came up really, really good. It did 11% in the beginning of last month. Uh, after the first two weeks, we're up 11%. Gave some of that back. But that's the, that's the way it goes. It, it, it swings and swings and roundabouts. Um, so um, you just got to be careful. I can manage the risk, and if I'm, I'm quite happy as sitting down this way here, it's around about the one percent. In fact, for, for one client, I'm only trading half percent on his account. He's he's not bothered. Um, if he, if I can make him one or two percent a month, um, he just looks at it as being absolutely brilliant. He cannot get anything like like it for the amount of money he's got in the bank. So. Um, 1% a month would be 12% a year would be absolutely fantastic for him. Could these figures be improved on? Uh, well, quite easily uh, just by compounding the numbers. So instead of just taking all your trades at 1% um, of your starting money, so if you if you if you got a thousand pounds in the first place, sorry, terrible writing on this mouse. So you got the and and you make 1% um, 
on that it, it becomes 1010 of course so then if you take the next trade you're looking at taking one percent so you, you've got you've got to 10 10 you, you've got slightly more to trade with and each time that occurs gradually you end up with more and more and it's it's interesting the same one percent gives um that 200 pound becomes 329 okay you're not going to get absolute fills and everything absolutely perfect this this is this is a hypothetical uh, number just based on just the compound and the way the trades flowed so it shows how the trades flowed so that when the losing trades came in for me i, I was already up nicely so it didn't really matter it didn't have such an impact if it flow, flowed a little bit different it may have been a little bit harder to make the money back quicker but that's what happens now uh, 400 pounds becomes 650 let's just sort of round these figures down down here in compounding and you, you can be putting sizable amounts on there without doing so as I said this isn't going to uh, set the world alight but it's, it's, if I can do that for the next uh, three quarters or two yeah three quarters I'll be happy um, two thirds that's it not three quarters <laughs> Um, I'll be happy um, si sitting at, at those sort of levels pro rata. So um, there you go. That's that's the possibility. Let's uh, move on. So what do you need to do? Well, ignore the hype in the first place, and 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 focus. It's all about focus consistency what you're doing with your trading be consistent with it don't keep switching and changing and switching and chasing the the golden <laughs> golden fleece um the the holy grail there, there is no such thing um i, I demonstrate every day that you know, whatever you pick up on you'll have losses as well as wins that's just accepting the market manage what you can manage and um realistically you can manage risk you can't manage the money because the money will follow the risk and if you're managing the right amounts um, you, you're going to be or have a much greater chance of, of being one of those 20% winners as opposed to 80% losers and the final thing there is accept what you're getting so when sometimes people have high expectations of the profit levels of trades and they'll, they'll they'll be trying to they expect the next one to go to the moon um, but the thing is it might go halfway to the moon and back again it's, sometimes it, it's, it's about accepting what you can actually get and plan it all out beforehand um, and doing all of that gives you a better chance to be profitable what sort of profit you'll have is another matter there are numerous other things you could do to help you but uh, this is just sort of a, a beginning this is more to explain that it's it's key to risk manage the risk not the money that's the key focus to to the whole thing and then keep consistent with what you're doing that way you've got a better chance of achieving what you're trying to achieve and don't be expecting the world it, it you know it, it doesn't it, not everything comes in that that time the but the hype guys uh, the hype slayers <laughs> um, are, are, are just there to hype um, they want your business okay uh, so I wish you all the very best if you like this video uh, do give it a thumbs up I'd be much appreciated also if uh, you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel once at once a week I do one of these videos it's normally on pivots or other training issue uh, I say issues but training subjects and also um, you can join my community as there's a link at the end of, at the bottom of the uh, in the in the text below and you can uh, join the community and I'll send you out reminders of when certain things are happening that's if you don't want to if you're not subscribing to YouTube and don't want to put your details in YouTube you can subscribe for, directly for me and I'll send you the weekly videos that is it have a, a great week um, ahead a great month wish you all the best if you're starting out and, or if you're even uh, been trading for a while and haven't got the consistency haven't you know focusing on the wrong things um, it can be done very simply um, and the strategies again just very simple I'll leave it there <laughs> take care bye for now